In other news tonight, this landscaper is accused of blowing up a mailbox right in front of a home in Merritt Island. Fox 35's Alina Shirazi joins us live in the neighborhood where it all happened. So, Alina, this was all allegedly over a $20 debt. All this fallout, John and Luann, over a $20 bill. You can actually take a look at the mailbox that the man allegedly blew up. You can see it's completely destroyed. This is actually the house of the homeowner. He moved in just a few days ago. The ground shook. A quiet day in this Merritt Island neighborhood turned into an explosion, all over $20. My dogs went crazy. I ran to the back because they ran to the back, and I thought maybe a transformer exploded. That's how loud this was. 29-year-old Peter Dusick was arrested on Friday, accused of blowing up the mailbox of a landscaping customer over unsettled payment issues. The man who lives in this house just moved in a few days before. He says he had no idea what the argument was over. The woman who owned the house before him was the customer. I wasn't aware of any disputes over landscaping. I just got here Tuesday. A little extreme, to say the least. A little over the top. I would have given the $20 if he really wanted it. The neighbors next door said they hired the man and used his services a few times. They even tried to get him the money the woman owed him before things took a dark turn. She didn't have the cash on him, so He's kept you know, bugging her and bugging her, and she finally gave it to me, and I gave it back to her because I didn't see him anymore either. Records show Dusick is listed as a violent felony offender who was on parole for a previous sentence. He's now facing charges, including discharging a destructive device and possession of a weapon by a convicted felon. 20 hours for 25 to life, that's... Good math there on a business person. <laughs> <laughs> Real good math. You got your own mailbox now, new mailbox. I hope it stays that way. You can see how much power that bomb had when it blew up, even leaving a dent in the sign next to us here. For now, we're live in Merritt Island. Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.